What's up guys, Lazy here and today we are gonna review the Eater Refiner guys. Perez added this reborn item this Thursday. So we're gonna review it guys, it's a reborn item. I'm not sure on what life you can get it. I'm sorry about that guys. If I know it, just tell me guys, I will add it in the description. Uh, we're gonna read this description of the Eater Refiner, good for life. Oh, so you can probably get it on life 50 or, or above or life 25 and above. It, well, it's, it's kind of good, guys. If you have a long setup with a lot of Schrodinger's in it, it it's kind of good, guys. Because it multiplies the ores by 90 times, guys. Multiplies the ores by 90 times. Just accepting ores at 90, 90 times. That's really good. If you have an ore worth uh, $10, you will get $900 out of it, guys. Really good. But the bad thing about it, uh, it got a cooldown. It's just like the Eternal Journey. Where do we have it? It's not a journey. It got a cooldown, guys. It has a cooldown. So it's yeah, it's kind of. Oh, I just it, it just like the ethanol journey, guys. Okay, here we go, guys. So we it got a cooldown. At the moment, it hit that um, the finesse. All those other ores can't get through. Oh my gosh, did you guys saw that? Two ores. Okay, two ores. Oh, okay. This is way better ethanol journey. There were three ores getting in at. The time, guys. Uh, when an ore hits the furnace, the the, the the gate will close for five seconds, guys, and then it will open. Uh, yeah, for the next ore, guys. If no ores hit the the gate, it will just stay open, guys. So when an ore hit the gate, it will close for five seconds straight. But it's better than the eternal journey, you know. At the eternal journey, a few more ores they will just uh, disappear in the furnace. Now they will just wait in front of the furnace. So that's that's great. That uh, I mean that's great. Let's say if we have the Tomia mine right over here. Look at this, guys. Okay, it's closing now, and those ores will just wait. They wait. They wait. They all wait. Okay, uh, not enough space. But here we go. They just they they just wait in in front of the furnace, and there can enter like there can enter a lot of ores. Did you guys saw that? We had like ten ores entering the furnace. This one, I think it's pretty dope. Multiplying the ore by 90 times, and a lot of ores can enter. And at cooldown 5 seconds, that's fine, guys, because all those ores are just waiting in front of it. So, this is, but it's a really good uh, furnace. I admit, guys, this is a really good furnace. If you're low life, you definitely want to use it. It's even better than the Sunka Pass, guys. I remember when the Sunka Pass came out. Oh my gosh, multiplying ores by 50 times. That was really good back then, because. Yeah, we had Dark Magic and, um, yeah, uh, Dreamer's Fry, Dreamer's Might, and that's it. But now, we are getting so many good furnaces, guys. We got Excalibur. Here we go, Excalibur. Where's Excalibur? Excalibur. We got Excalibur. Um, and we got this one. We got the Sword Master Spirit. We got Heavenly Wisp. Guys, the Birthday Cake. Well, Birthday Cake is not that good. It, it's okay. But this one is pretty good guys especially for low life people you really want to use this I mean if you get it this is like four times better than a frozen justice if you're getting this one oh my gosh so uh, but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys